Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. Now today I actually picked up this welcome sign from Hobby Lobby and I really wanted something to hang on my front door for spring. And so this welcome sign is really good for all year long. It's a really nice size, got it 40% off. It was a really great deal. You can see here it hangs here at the top. But I thought here on the back it would be really fun to kind of dress this up for spring, do something a little fun here on the back, and make it a double-sided sign. So that's the project for today. So the first thing here on the back is a couple of stickers from Hobby Lobby, the price tag and things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. And I think the easiest way to do that is with a heat gun. And this one, I love it. You can purchase it from Amazon. So I'll leave a link in the video description below, but always check out my video descriptions. I do put a lot of links down there of products that I love, that I use, that helps me on these different projects. And so check those out because I've Love this heat gun again it does a really good job removing stickers without leaving that nasty residue as well as it really cuts down the drying time for your projects you know you're waiting for something to dry like paint and things like that so this does really help that Now here you can see I have several sheets of this craft paper or scrapbooking paper that you can find at places like Hobby Lobby. You can actually purchase them individually to get exactly what you want or you can just buy a book like this one that has several sheets of paper in different colors and prints that you can use on multiple projects. And so I just kind of pulled out several sheets out of this book that had prints and colors and things like polka dots and flowers that I thought remind me of spring. And I'm also going to remove this rope here at the top so that the piece will lay flat and I can always tie it back on at the end. Now in this project, I'm gonna be using some of this Mod Podge, which is a water-based glue, sealer, and finish. And it comes in a gloss finish or matte finish. This one is the gloss one. And I'll just be using a paintbrush to apply this to this sign. And I'm just gonna add a thin, even coat to the entire thing. And then I'll share with you what I'm gonna do next. So now I want to take the first sheet of my craft paper and put it here on the top and then I'll just take my hand and smooth it out the best that I can. I'm not going to get too picky or fussy about it. Um, it is hard sometimes to not have a few uh, wrinkles in the paper or some you know, air bubbles if you want to use uh, something like a scraper to really um, you know, smooth out everything. Then you can, but I'm just going to use my hand. Now it does get a little messy with the Mod Podge, so I am going to put on some gloves. So now I'm just going to continue to brush on the Mod Podge and layering up different pieces of paper here, again in different colors and designs and prints, so that really in the end it's going to look like a patchwork quilt design, and I think it's going to look really great and I'll just continue to just um, brush on this Mod Podge to make sure that the edges of the craft paper are adhering well to the piece. Now I could, um, you know, take some scissors and cut up these pieces of paper into smaller pieces or just use my hands and tear up the paper into smaller pieces and do the exact same thing. But I really do like the look of just big blocks of color. So I really like the way this looks, but you can make it your own. Now, once I had all of my paper glued down using the Mod Podge, I did want to let it dry just a bit before continuing on. So again, I just used my heat gun to speed up the drying process. Now I'm gonna turn over my sign face down on my cutting mat and using my rotary cutter, I think this is the best way to kind of trim the edges of the sign, removing the excess paper and give it that nice clean finished look.
And guys, if you're liking this video so far, give it a thumbs up and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Now at this point, I'll go ahead and use a utility knife to make a couple of slits to um, you know, make my hole so I'll be able to hang my rope hanger back in place later on. Now I'm loving the way this sign is looking so far. Now I thought it'd be nice to use some of these letters that I had left over from a past project to spell out the word home. Now if you don't have letters like this, you could use a Cricut, uh, one of those vinyl cutters. You could also just paint it on, use stencils, or you could just use a paint pen and uh, draw it on, just whatever you wanna do. So now that the letters are in place, I'll go ahead and add another quick little thin even coat of Mod Podge over top of the entire thing, over top of those letters to make sure everything is nice and sealed. And then I do like to speed up the drying process. I'll use my heat gun once again, but if you don't have something like a heat gun, just set it aside and let it dry. So guys, what do you think? I think it turned out great. Super cute. I love the bright colors, the patterns, the polka dots, the flowers. I think it turned out super cute to hang on my front door. And you know what? If I get sick of it, I can always turn it back over to the welcome side. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go and check out my other videos here on my channel. More crafting videos in this playlist here. And I'll see you later. Bye.